Back to our channel. Welcome back. Inspirational minutes with David. Yes, I know. Uh, it's Friday. It's Friday. The pointer. Thank you. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Welcome back to the video today. We have a great little topic today. A great little bill. A bill today. Inspirational minutes with David. First of all, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, hit the share button, like, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, share. Do we have to, <laughs> do we have to keep going on and on? Like, subscribe, and share. It's Friday. Let's get it in. Let's let's get it in. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. It's Friday. It's Friday. We yeah. have. Nice little conversation today, nice little bill. Hit the subscribe button, um, hit the bell notifications. You know, I always keep a, a little news and little things that go on throughout the week with me and things that I hear or see um, throughout my week. I try not to bore you. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I realize that um, I'm not for everybody and everybody's that, that support me, you know, on this channel. Thank you in advance, man. I love you so much. Um, I am, one of my goals is to help the channel to grow. I want it to grow, not because I want it for other reasons. The main reason is to reach more people and to tell them about the awakening process that, you know, I'm currently going through in my life and to, you know, to evolve and, and to talk about love and spread love, letting out vulnerable emotions because that's what life is all about. And when you realize that, you know, like I say all the time, we're, we're one with the universe and the very parts of our physical being is emulating the universe. And when the universe looks down upon us, when the universe looks down upon us, it looking at itself in human form. Uh, I was trying to find this on my look backup phone um, about what it says, but uh, it's gonna be a great bill today. I um, always keep things like and try to blow some brains up, detonate some brains and some minds and some, you know, to, to let you know that it's real. Um, I was reading about how the the fingerprint when you cut wood it looks like the wood nature and it's also polaris and it goes the circle of life it's it's a whirlwind of things that um it's amazing it's it's truly amazing when you begin to evolve and wake up to the b s the 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 indoctrination that we have been indoctrinated and really forced into not because you know our parents they didn't know their parents didn't know we're just going through traditions it's time to to break away from those traditions it's time to to question your why it's and what i mean by that by questioning your why why am i doing the things that i'm doing why question your why be a critical thing question everything you know it's amazing i I got a little report back from a friend of mine, and they was talking about they have a mask mandate that started at their job. Um, it was actually today. And um, I'll read it. It said, it said, all, you know, given a lot of policy changes, changes regarding the mask, which is a symbol that you don't have a voice policies by our country. Other offices with declining rates and very different perspectives by geographical regions. We are modifying our current certification of ID. 
mask policy too. Effectively, April the 14th, we'll give our clients and vaccinated staff the option to wear masks. We continue to encourage any employee that desire or desires to wear masks for protection to do so. And strongly recommend any unvaccinated patient or employees to wear masks in our work locations. Definition for strongly recommend recommend as follows. Any they have this in bold unvaccinated. Employee must continue. They had that, you know, in bold, and also had must continue to wear the mask in areas where they are interfacing patients and fellow employees or open group of employees. Unvaxxed employees obviously would not wear a mask when eating or drinking, but would replace face coverings. When finished, unemployees who are in separate office alone may not have to wear a mask. Common sense. It's like driving in a car with your damn mask on. How stupid is that? Until interfacing with a patient or a fellow employee. Unemployees who don't follow the rules will be subject to our traditional disciplinary procedures. So, essentially, the old rules still apply for the unemployees unless the employee is, is, a, is in an isolated environment. Have you ever read the book Scarlet Level. Scarlet Level. Where the woman who or the women who cheated uh, had infidelity with their mates, they had to wear a scarlet level, adultery. It was a big ache. And everyone in town knew. That this person knew that this person committed adultery. They were separated from the righteous good people. And they were looked down upon. Even though the righteous good people did more sins than the person who had the A. Same concept. Family. You can't wear a mask if you're on, you have to wear a mask if you're on vax at this company. But the ones who are, you know, they don't have to wear a mask. So the people that work with you and with your mask on, they will know that you, you with the mask on is on Hence, the scarlet level. Maybe they look down upon you. Maybe they, maybe they would think, oh, you're infected. Or I can get infected. Oh, he's, he or she are damaged goods. They're alien. They're nasty. Oh, if they come, I might just get it. Fear porn. Scarlet level. The divide and conquer, the division between the vax and the unvax, even in the workplace. Oh, the game is real. The game is very real. But guess what, people? We don't give a damn about your freaking policy. Because we are critical thinkers. We are. We question our why. And 
this red paper in my hand. It's, you know, Tuesday, February the 1st, 2022 was the Chinese New Year. And the year of this year, the color is red. Red, my favorite color, by the way. I'm born in March. They said March is a March, is a month of chaos and a, a month of war. Like I did a video, we did. I come in peace, but I'm always prepared for war. They said the tiger is known as the king of all beasts in China. And the zodiac sign tiger is a symbol of strength, exercising, or exerting evils and braveness. The year of the tiger will be about making big, huge changes. This will be a year of risk taking and adventure. We're finding enthusiasm again, both for ourselves and for others. Everyone is fired up. Gerosity, gerosity is at its all time high and social progress feels possible again. The tiger is associated with gang, masculine, active energy. The color red is for the year of the tiger. And the color red is commonly worn throughout the Chinese New Year. Red. Red is the color of passion. Red is the color of enthusiasm. Happy Chinese. New Year. Do not be bullied. Do not be bullied. Until your awareness. The bill upon our video today is called the mirror effect to so be effect to give an effect and be effective now questions what if you're benevolent but you attract opportunists people are always trying to get something from you what if you're honest, a real, true, honest person, but you seem to attract liars and prevaricators? What if you're law, L-O-Y-A-L, and everything that you do, but you seem to attract cheaters? What if you're noble at heart? And attract the heart and cold at heart. What if you are loving, but you attract those only love you when they feel alone? Does that mean that the love is fake love? What if you're generous and you attract the selfish? What if you're a good friend? And you attract haters. You attract people who are jealous, who begrudge you, who want to be you, but they're haters. You see, even when there's a lot of, well, even there's a lot of lack of working, according to the law of the mirror, the mirror effect. No! Don't always attract what you are. No, we don't always attract the same spirit or the same spiritual beings of who we are. No, the mirror effect is in effect. The dense vibrations, the dense shadows, the dense vibrations. The need from your high vibration to transform or to feed yourself with drain energy. Darkness. 
Non-consciousness is only defeated by light with a more conscious consciousness. And although it seems like a game of words, wordplay, when you shine so much, you remove all the shadows. You see, don't compare your life to others. Be the mirror effect of who you are. There is no comparison between the sun and the, and the moon. They shine when it's their time. So sometimes, you, you, you attract people who desperately need what you are. They desperately need what's within you because they may be surrounded by reflectors, but they certainly need your light, their love, their light, the light of love and clarity, letting out vulnerable emotions, the mirror effect. From love, we choose, we and I, I choose, I choose to be a mirror with awareness that no one can give what they don't have. No, it's not always. You attract what you are. You made it this far. In our inspirational minutes with David, hit the subscribe button. There's so many things that um, I want to talk about, but I do it in increments, just like I did my book, increments, in, the, in sevens. <laughs> oh, and by the way, buy the book, The Audacity of Woke, Amazon.com. You haven't bought it yet? You're not going to support? Support your boy! <laughs> support your boy. Buy the book. Get out that cocoon. Break up out that cocoon and grow. Evolve. Be aware. Question your why. Question everything. Be the mirror. Effect. Please. I love me. Because. I love you. And when you love you. You return love. Me. You made it this far. And I'm inspirational. Minutes with David. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notifications. Stay woke. Stay conscious. Question everything. Be the mirror effect that you want to see in life. Okay? My name is David. On the fly. Optician. Again, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Share the video. Comment. I'm committing to commenting. <laughs> and thank you in advance. Until next time. I love you. I love you and truth. Peace.